What's going on my fellow retro gamers? Welcome back. Uh, I do have another tutorial for you guys and I'll be going over the PlayStation 1 emulator for the Wii. And just like the past two uh, tutorials that I did, somebody actually asked me to do this tutorial. And so here I am. Uh, this particular PlayStation 1 emulator was actually picked back up by developers about a year ago, I believe it was. And they did some minor tweaks and things of that nature to it. And so uh, it runs a little smoother. Uh, the save states are, uh, as far as I know, they, they, they work just fine. No problem with that there. And so uh, it's, it's not a bad emulator, actually. Uh, so uh, I'll be getting into that. Uh, it shouldn't be a, a drawn-out video, guys. It's very simple to set up. Uh, so, yeah. So I'll go over to the computer, guys. You know how I do my tutorials. Uh, I go over to the computer, do my thing, and then I hop over to the Wii and I do my thing there. So uh, let's just get right down to this and uh, get going with this tutorial, all right? So let's meet me over there at the uh, computer, guys. Let's go. All right. Oh. Alright guys, so the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to grab up all of our files that we need. Uh, now just like the other two tutorials that I did uh, recently, I have archived them up and put them up on a, to a media fire site. But unlike the, the last two uh, tutorials guys, this archive here, I did not add or delete anything. Uh, this, this is just as the way I downloaded it from the site, okay? So that's that. Uh, now this particular emulator, like I said before, was picked back up by developers about a year ago and they did some minor tweaks to it and all that good stuff. And now it is called the Wii SXR. Uh, this is the beta version 2.2. So let's go ahead and download it and I'll save it to the desktop. My computer is extremely slow today for some reason. <laughs> oh wow. I am on my laptop, so that's one reason why it's so slow. This, this thing right here needs to be upgraded or something. <laughs> but I ain't got time for all that. <clears throat> okay, so once it gets downloaded, we're going to go ahead and we'll extract it. And we'll see what kind of goodies are inside of it. Okay, so this is it. Uh, open it up. Of course, we've got our apps in here. Our uh, canal folder and a WSXR folder and a text document. Uh, in our apps folder, we got our emulator, of course. Just like that right there. We've got all on it. Our canal folder has our... Uh, wad file which will create a channel for you guys and again i use the wad uh wad manager 1.7 using the uh, ios 236 to install we have six r folder here uh this contains our bios isos and saves folder in here and what's cool about it guys is this already comes with a uh, bios file already in it which is cool and not only that, it also comes with a game. Uh, I haven't played it yet, but I will here shortly when I hop over to the Wii. So yeah, uh, text document here, guys. Uh, this this is pretty much. Whoa, what's going on here? It just tells you about this version of the emulator. It, it tells you what kind of uh, tweaks that it, that was done to it here. Uh, good stuff you can read up on it if you want, but in this tutorial, uh, I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> okay, so let's move this over. Let's get right down to business and installing this stuff. Um, pull up my SD card first. And of course, if you guys don't already know, the folder in your apps folder here, which is your emulator, you simply want to drag and drop drag and drop it over into your apps folder and since I've already got it I'm going to skip these files that's for the canal folder I, uh, you can do you can drag and drop it over guys but I simply uh, all my wad files that I have uh, I got in a wad folder uh, right here <clears throat> as you can see I don't even know I should have it in there. 
Yeah, right there. The Wish X. That's the same one as this one here. So yeah, I do have it. As for this Wii, S, uh, Wii SXR, uh, I've, I've also already got it right here. But all you would do is just, again, simply just drag and drop it over to the root of your SD card or your hard drive. I usually, I usually uh, on emulators like this, I usually put this type of folder on my SD as well as my hard drive simply because of saves uh, and the BIOS files, guys. Uh, but yeah, actually, this here, this game on my SD card, I can actually delete that. I don't need that. Alright, so that's that's it on the uh, SD card. Now on my hard drive, I got the same folder, guys. Same exact folder. Uh, right here. I've already went in and I've done uh, mess with the settings and all that good stuff. That's why these are created. Uh, I got one save here. That's where your saves end up. Uh, all my ISOs are right here. I've got all my ISOs. I, I don't use... Well, I'll use these for my Wii. I don't really play the PlayStation 1 on my Wii. I played on the PlayStation 2. Uh, using the PlayStation 1 emulator. Uh, I used a Pop Starter emulator actually. I don't use these anymore. <clears throat> but I used to use these on my PlayStation 2. That's why they're in here. But for this tutorial I will show you a couple of games here. There's one game that runs just fine. This is Mega Man 6 that runs just fine. There's one that I know of that runs not so good and that's the Castlevania Chronicles and I'll be showing you that also. Alright? And of course the BIOS here, I got quite a few BIOS in mine, uh, but the only one you'd need is this one here. That's it. Uh, all these other ones are in here for safekeeping, basically, that's all. Okay, so uh, yeah, I, I had all these in there for my PlayStation 2. That's, that's why I had all those in there. But uh, that's it, guys. Uh, now we can hop over to the Wii and uh, I'll show you how to everything up with that all right so let's hop on over to the week all right <clears throat> okay guys let's uh get going with this portion of the tutorial the Wii portion anyway uh here's the channel right here guys it's the Wii SX but I'm gonna delete it uh mm -hmm. For those of you who do not know how to install a channel, I'm going to go, go over it with you guys. <clears throat> I guess I need to make a tutorial just on that, so but it's not that that big oh crap there it is. It's not that big a deal actually. To be making a tutorial on it anyway, I don't know. All right, let's go back, back. And again, guys, I use Wad Manager 1.7. Just to let you know. Lot. Now you just scroll to wherever your WAD file is at. Find in the WAD folder here. There it is right there. Hit the home button to go back out.
Okay, let's move on over to our channel, and there it is right there. Looks a little different, but uh, hey. Okay, so here's our emulator. It looks uh, quite similar to the N64 emulator. But what you want to do is, let's go into our settings first and uh, go to our saves, our first tab here. And my pointer is going crazy for some reason. I don't know why. Look at that, crazy. Uh, but yeah, the memory card save device, uh, I save it on the, if this pointer don't doggone stop, Holy moly. I don't know guys. I don't, I don't know what's up with this right here. Alright, so the memory card save device. Uh, I, you, you can either pick the SD card here or the USB. I pick the USB. Uh, as for the uh, auto save, uh, I go with no. Any uh, save states device, uh, SD or USB, I go with USB. And then on the audio, I don't do anything with the audio, uh, the input. Uh, you, can, you can actually go in here, guys, uh, configure input. You go to the automatic, which it will assign, uh, automatically pick up what controller you're using, or you can go with manual. Uh, I use the GameCube controller pad for one and the, the Wii pad for number two. That's what I do. I just leave it automatic though, guys. That's what I do. I found out that uh, if you have it on manual like this right here, uh, if you leave it like this, the, uh, the GameCube controller does not work. You have to have it on automatic. Anyway, and you can uh, configure all your buttons here, which is pretty cool. Uh, video, uh, you can go with 4.3 or 6.16.9. I, I like 4.3 on this one. Uh, general, I pretty much leave this the same. Select the BIOS. My BIOS is on the USB. So I'm going to go ahead and select USB. You can pick, you can choose SD if you want to use your BIOS on SD. But, um, I, use, I usually use the BIOS for my PlayStation 2 also, so that's why I leave it on the USB because uh, my PlayStation 2 doesn't support SD cards, so that's why, that's the reason for that. Uh, boot through BIOS, uh, yeah, I like to see the BIOS. And then you can save all your settings uh, to your SD or USB. I'm going to save it to the USB. All right. I don't know what's up with my pointer. Good lord, is my battery almost dead or what? I don't know. Alright. So, and there's that load from Samba again, too. Let's go. Okay, here's all my stuff. I'm going to go with Mega Man S6, uh, X6 first, just to show you. And play game. I've got to, I've got to tell you uh, show you how to uh, it does ex uh, display the frames per second and you can get that off and I'll show you that here in a minute. <clears throat> I just let you see for one second what it's actually running at. It runs pretty good actually. It really does. Let me just zoom through this real quick. Okay, should be getting pretty close now. Like, here we go. <coughs> oh, you see it, uh, it's running pretty much 60 frames per second. Which is not bad at all. And the only sucky thing about this, using the GameCube controller, guys, the analog stick does not work. 
I don't know why. Uh, I wish it would, but that's that. So that's that game there. I'm gonna show you a game that doesn't work so well. And how do you back out of this? Is you take your Wii remote and you hit your uh, minus and plus buttons at the same time. All right. Oh, and also, uh, l let me show you how to get the frames per second off. Uh, there it is right there. Show FPS frames per second. We can turn them off if we want to. Uh, I like good stuff. So, <clears throat> as for the saves, uh oh, ah, oh, crap. You can go to current ISO and you can. Add, this thing is not like the N64. You can actually just go here, guys, uh, and save it. Just wait a second. It takes a second for it to uh, load up the save here. Okay. All right. Unlike the N64 emulator, you have to resume the game in order to save. On this one, you don't have to do that. I'm just going to go to load ISO. And we're going to go to uh, Chronicles here. Okay. You hear the sound, guys? Not too good. <laughs> Not too good at all. Yeah, it kind of sucks. But I mean, everything runs uh, at full speed except for the music. The music's a little, not a little, but it is horrible. It is horrible. But yeah, as you can see, the, uh, the gameplay is perfect. So the emulator itself is it's still not perfect, but I mean, it, it'll do though. You know what I'm saying? So. Alright. That's that one. Just to show you real quick that the saves do work, you don't have to do it like you do the N64. You go back to uh, Mega Man S6, uh, X6, uh, go, go to current ISO, load state, OK, and play game, and it starts you right off. If the N64 would do that, that'd be awesome, but it doesn't. So that's that guys uh yeah that, that's the end of the tutorial i mean that's all i got for you on this one it's, it's pretty simple guys really nothing to it uh so I, I hope i hope that this tutorial got you up and going with the uh ps1 games and uh and i don't know i just leave y'all guys with that and if you have any questions any any problems just comment below and i'll do my best to get back with you and help you out. Uh, so, uh, this is Bobby signing off for today, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys.